This video is sponsored by So Sick Clothing. Use code tomorrow at checkout to save 15% and support the channel. Link in the description. What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more Hitman 2. This is an achievement slash toad guide for the pleasure which requires you to shoot for gold and look to the sea. What that actually means is there are 14 hidden golden skulls around the map that you need to shoot in order to cause an easter egg to occur and an achievement or trophy to pop, the pleasure of course. So to begin we're going to be loading up the last resort on Haven Island and for our planning phase we're going to be taking a lockpick, a silence pistol, a briefcase, and a silent sniper. You need all of these items in order to actually get to the different gold skulls and shoot some of them which are really really far away so you need the sniper for. To begin we're going to head to our bungalow where we're going to find our first two golden skulls. Now you're supposed to go to the front desk to get a key to get into your bungalow but since we have our lockpick we're just gonna lockpick our way in. Doesn't really matter nobody notices and then when you head in you want to head into the bathroom to the right to find your first golden skull and then the second one can be seen on an airplane to the left of your pool with your sniper rifle. Just be careful not to be noticed by anybody at the other bungalows when pulling out your sniper rifle like I'm almost noticed here. Now we're going to make our way to a little bar that is located next to the beachside restaurant. The Golden Skull is actually located behind the bar, and it's right near where this bartender has decided to stand, so be careful not to shoot the bartender and only get the skull right here. Next we're going to head over to the antenna area where the camera server is stored, and there's going to be six guards in this area, but they are actually relatively easy to eliminate without getting noticed, as I'm going to do right here. With all six guards eliminated in this area, go ahead and pull out your sniper and head up to the top of this tower so that we can shoot two more golden skulls that are located very far off of the map. One of them is going to be on a yacht and the other one is going to be on an adjacent island that you can't get to.
In this next area, we're going to want to knock out this guard so that we can use our sniper to shoot up at the top of the tower that we were just at, or the top of the antenna, because there is a golden skull up there which we can't actually see from on the antenna. Now we've made our way over to Tyson Williams' villa. I should mention that if you did not bring a lockpick for this mission, if you follow the wall along a little bit further to the left, there will be an area where you can jump over because there's no barbed wire at the top of the wall. Head on upstairs and we're going to get a villa guard disguise. There's actually one guard over here who is isolated, who you can easily take out in order to get his outfit. We want to get this disguise just because it makes it easier to walk around this mansion or this villa because we have a couple of golden skulls to get inside the building. First up is going to be the skull inside of Tyson Williams' closet in his bedroom, so go ahead and shoot this one and then move along to the next set of rooms. As you move into Tyson's home theater, there may be a guard here, sometimes there isn't. It seems to be completely random from what I noticed, but basically just go ahead and take him out if he is here, and then shoot the two golden skulls located in this room right here and right here. In the room we just walked through is an aquarium. We need to actually destroy the aquarium because there's a golden skull inside of it. I decided I was going to try and clear out the room by luring people out of it and then knocking them out, but I just ended up getting impatient and went loud and just killed everybody in the room anyways. You can do it however you want if you have the patience, whatever suits you, but once you've actually cleared out this room, go ahead and shoot the aquarium. And then if you come around to the side here, you'll notice that there's an actual skull inside the aquarium, as well as a golden skull hidden amongst the seaweed or plankton or sea stuff.
On Stephen Bradley's private island, there's going to be a bar, and just on the shelf next to some of the bottles is going to be a golden skull. And from here, if we head down onto the beach at the private island, you'll notice that there's a semi-submerged ship just kind of sitting around here. And near one of the windows is going to be another golden skull, which you can use your sniper to take out. Now we are at the resort spa, and I couldn't really find an effective way to clear out this room without killing everybody in it, and I didn't really want to do that, so I decided to just hang out in this corner and take out the golden skull. They will of course notice you, but it doesn't really matter because we are on to our final golden skull, which is going to be located in a security break room area, where we can finally finish up here and make our way back to the antenna tower so that we can kill our three main targets. After taking out all 14 skulls, I recommend heading back up this antenna tower and using your sniper rifle to eliminate all three of the targets on the map. This is actually one of the map challenges as well as to eliminate all three targets with the sniper. So you'll also unlock a challenge while doing this method. So go ahead and take out all three of your targets. Two targets remaining. Just one more target to go. So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, Professor. That's all we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work. So now it's time to go and dig up some buried treasure. Now for whatever reason, my achievement ends up popping here, and I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to pop here, or if you're supposed to get the achievement or trophy after digging up the buried treasure. But before we go and find the buried treasure, I just wanted to show you guys that after completing this achievement or trophy, this ghost ship will spawn in and start roaming around the outside area of the map. So anyways, head on over to Stephen Bradley's private island, and just next to the bar on the private island is a tree, and right next to it is going to be an area where you can dig. There is a treasure map on this map that you can pick up, however, you can come here and dig without the treasure map and find this hidden treasure. Now at this point, your achievement or trophy may pop if it didn't pop earlier, but Inside of this chest is going to be some doubloons and an old sword from a pirate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, be sure to have a like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all the fun junk. Check down the description if possible, links to awesome things. My Twitter, Instagram, Mixer channel, my other YouTube channel where I do real life sporting event predictions and games like FIFA and Madden and a bunch of other things. Keep it here for more Hitman 2, more achievement slash trophy slash collectibles guides and until tomorrow, ta -ra.